Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. This is another part of the tutorial for the um, 22 inch button up basket weave cardigan, child's cardigan. Um, I've done part of the sleeve to um, to show what actually what I'm doing and I have it written down here. And for the sleeve, I've cast on 34 stitches, as you can see here. And I've knit 10 rows in twisted rib there. And on when I've changed to, to four millimeter needles and uh, I'm going to pattern up to nine and a half inches, increasing on the fifth and every sixth row until there's 44 stitches on the needle. Then on every eighth row to 48 stitches, working the increases into the work. And that's what I'm doing at the, um, the moment. Um, I've increased so many stitches and like seen, I've worked it into the, um, the side so you can't really notice where the, um, the increases are. But I've already done one one of the the other sleeve. This is just to show. I've done all the increasing up, and then I've got to the um. The armholes here, and I've casted off three stitches, on each end, and then when I'm casting off, decreasing I should say when I'm decreasing up the um the sides. I'm just taking the first two stitches and the last two stitches. The first the first two stitches I'm slipping one and knitting one and knitting to the end and knitting two together. Because I'm going to when I sew these together, I'm going to be sewing the seams like that. A back stitch up there instead of flat stitching the way the way I normally do. Here's the back. Um, when I do a, um, a raglan, it depends on the type of um, shaping I've done on the um, the raglan. And sometimes I stitch them flat, like that, and stitch, you know, the two together all the way down. But with this one being a kind of pattern that I don't want the, um, the raglan shape and shown like that. So I'm going to put the two pieces together. And it'll be working from the top, the top down, and then I'll be doing a back stitch as close to the edge as I can get, so that it's it's folded at the um, the edge like that. So anyway, that's the back, and I have one of the um, the sleeves done there. But I've done so much on this one, and when I get up to the um, the armholes. I'll show you how to do the um how I'm doing the decreasing on um this sleeve because it's not decreasing on every other row from the armholes. It's so many rows, fourth row, and then alternate rows. So I'll come back and show you that when when I get that far. Well, I've got the sleeve up to the armholes. And I'm going to cast off three stitches on each end. I'm just going to knit three stitches and cast them off. It's one, two, three. And then I'm going to knit across to the other end. Cast off three stitches on the next row. And I will pause the video till I get that far. Now I'm going to cast off three stitches on this side. It's one. 
to three. And I'm going to knit to the end of this row. And I pause until I get to the end. And that's both cast off edges done. And now I'm going to knit two rows in pattern. I'll pause the video until I've knit those two rows and I'm onto the decreasing rows and I'm going to decrease on this fourth row and the eighth row so I'm going to slip one at the start and knit one pass that slip stitch over or you can knit those two stitches together, it's your own choice, whatever you want to do. It doesn't really matter because those stitches are going to be lost in the um, the sewing when you do the, um, the back stitch on the, um, the seams. I'm going to knit a pattern to the end of the row and I'll be casting off two stitches at the end. And I pause until I get that far. And that's the last two stitches and I'm just going to knit those two stitches together. Now I'm going to knit three more rows and then decrease again on the, um, the fourth row, which is the eighth row of the um, thing. So I'll meet you at the end of those rows. And now I'm on to the 8th row and I'm going to decrease again. Slip one, knit one, pass the slip stitch over. And then knit in pattern to the other end of the row. And I will meet you at the end of that row. So I'm now at the end of the row and I'm going to knit those two stitches together. And that's the, uh, the decreasing for the fourth row and the eighth row. And now it's every other row. So I'm going to knit another row and then decrease every other row until there's eight stitches left on the needle and I will come back when I've got that far. So that's the sleeve finished and I'm going to put the last stitches on a safety pin. eight stitches on that safety pin there now and that's the sleeve two sleeves And the back. And I have started on the front. Yeah. 
this can be the left or the right front it's how i'm doing it as the left front because the pattern is reversible it's the same on both sides so it doesn't matter which side you have it on but for the front i've started i've cast on i've cast on 32 stitches doing rib one by one for 10 rows and that's all i have written down um but i'm going to knit it to match up to the um the front the front to the back it's going to be uh, nine inches up to the armhole and that's my little bit for now and i'll come back with another tutorial for the rest of the cardigan um so give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll let you see the rest when i get it done